6.53, time for the six things you need to know before you go. And we do begin in North Augusta, where city leaders are taking steps to approve a plan that would reroute Railroad Avenue, which borders the future Ballpark Village. It would pretty much stay the same between Center Street to Hammonds Ferry, but the portion that goes underneath the bridge will go a little further north, coming out into a traffic circle before connecting back to the existing portions. The ordinance needs to be approved one more time before it's made official. Waynesboro voters will head to the polls today for a runoff election. The top two vote getters from a special election in March are on the ballot today. Kathy Owens and Greg Carswell are vying to be the next mayor of Waynesboro. The winner will fill the unexpired term of former Mayor Pauline Jenkins, who died last year. Polls open at 7 o'clock. They'll close at 7 tonight. And today, a groundbreaking ceremony will be held for a new downtown area in Evans. It's being built near Evans Town Center Park and the Old Marshall Square. That project will include shops, restaurants, and professional buildings, as well as a parking deck. The ceremony is set for 10 a.m. And a new charter school could be on the way to Graniteville. Tonight, the Aiken County Board of Education will discuss an application from the Cotton Mill Charter School. According to the institution's Facebook page, it'll be open for students from kindergarten to fifth grade. If approved, it's uh, going to be open in August of 2018. Good Tuesday morning, everyone, as we're getting our new workday and school day started. Here's a look at the roadways with a traffic update for you. Still no accidents to report this morning. Do watch for the school buses on the roadways this morning. Make sure you're stopping for them as they make their frequent stops. And a traffic note for you. Starting today through Thursday, DOT will be doing work 9 to 4 with uh, lane closures eastbound and westbound on I-20 between exit 200 and exit 1 at the river and state line. They'll be doing that till the end of the month. So expect delays on I-20 at the river today. Buckle up and drive safely in the WGAC 24-hour news traffic and weather center. For News Channel 6, I'm Zach Taylor. And your forecast throughout the day today by 9 a.m., mostly cloudy, 65 by noon. We'll start to see a few showers and 76. Better chance of rain from noon through 5, as well as a few isolated thunderstorms and 79 degrees. And by 8, a few leftover showers and storms and 72.